rain I mean rainy plus it was snowing a little bit um, so we did get to see it but it was dark we really didn't get to enjoy it like that um, I, I'm so thankful we made it home um, we had traveling grace because the weather was all types of everything it was cold it was windy it was rainy it was snowing it was a lot um, so we made it thank you Jesus and I even told babe, thanks babe for getting us home safe because he drove the whole entire time. Um, there and back, I don't drive there, or I don't drive. When I'm with babe, he always drives. He rather drives than, than me and I'd rather him drive. So it just works out. Um, so yes, today I do plan on making the, um, the lasagna soup. I wanna make the lasagna soup today. So I'm gonna grab that while I'm in Walmart. Did I say we gotta get lovey? Well, that's something we gotta get. So last night when we got home, you guys, it was super cold in the house. It was like 54 degrees upstairs and downstairs. So, you know, I was concerned about blue. Blue's our fish, in case you guys don't know. And um, and when we went upstairs and you could just tell he was upset at us, y'all. He was under his little rock. He did not wanna come out. And he was just, um, I, I think he was just cold. I really believe he was cold. Um, but he was, he was, he was pretty mad. <laughs> he was hot. So, uh, I felt the water because it was just so cold in the house. I felt the water with my fingers to see how cold it was, his water. And it was really cold, you guys. I felt terrible that I didn't even think to keep the heater on or something on for him so that his water temperature would not, I mean, I would have, I never would have thought of that. So I ended up just getting some water from the faucet, some hot water and pouring it inside and it was still cold. I just added, but eventually he kind of started coming out because y'all, he didn't even come out when Amari put food in his tank. He was like, oh no, baby. So yeah, I'm gonna run into the Dollar Tree because I'm gonna get some batteries for my little frother. Um, because I wanna try to make the sweet cream foam. Now the sweet cream foam is what gets me when I get my drink from uh, Starbucks. So I'm gonna see if I can make it myself. And I have a, a handheld frother, but um, I need new batteries. So I'm gonna go on Dollar Tree and um, see if I can find some batteries and then I'm gonna run to Walmart so let's go I got a lot to do y'all I gotta clean my room gotta fold clothes I didn't do that before I left I did clean the kitchen and downstairs but that room is mostly the clothes and the towels that I have to fold that makes it look like it's a mess 
and I do need to get that Christmas stuff down and put away in my room so we can move past Christmas upstairs. So, oh, it's so cold. Ooh. We have a couple of cars that have snow. Look at this one. And when we got home, it was like, our house didn't have that much snow on the grass, but other houses in our neighborhood had a lot of snow. And I said, babe, who melted our snow? We need to figure out who did it. Because there's no reason why our snow should be gone and everybody else got snow. So I just stole it from I want to get you all alone now and go hide away from the lights but i don't dare to i'm too fragile and for that i do apologize maybe someday we can work it out but i'm afraid it's too late to try baby i don't dare to love you and you know the reason why don't you know i'm way too weak to swim can't you feel the waves come crashing in running out of safety nets cause every night every Maybe someday we could work it out But I'm afraid it's too late to try Baby, I don't dare to love you And you know the reason why Don't you know I'm way too weak to swim? Can't you feel the waves come crashing in? Running out of safety nets Cause every night, every night hey! I fall down in the middle of the night Screaming, oh my God, cause you're right, guys. I'm back home I had to go take a shower for y'all and get dressed while I was all up in y'all's face looking a hot raggedy mess. Um, it's a shame that I left this morning at like eight something and it's already almost 11. Time just flies by. I haven't even opened my blinds. I haven't put none of the stuff up that I got from Walmart or um, Dollar Tree, but um i guess i'll show you guys what i got um so you guys could see let me take this stuff out of the bags and then i'll show show you guys with, with everything that i got all right you guys so this is everything i got today from walmart um because like i told you guys i'm gonna make the lasagna soup that i saw on tiktok and this is the Italian sausage that I got. I got two of those. I may not even need both, but I just got two just in case. Um, so that's going to be for dinner, dinner tonight. I got some Bisquick, heavy whipping cream because I'm getting ready to make me a coffee. And I saw a um, on Pinterest how to make the vanilla sweet cream foam. So I got the, the whipping cream. I got some mozzarella, ricotta cheese. I got some Reynolds um, foil lasagna and I grabbed one of these you guys um, I never I mean I've always seen these and I actually bought my one for Christmas but I never had one of my own and this weekend at the hotel they had like waffles that you could make on your own and they were pretty cool so I, I figured I'd pick that up I'm gonna make me some right now that's why I got the Bisquick and I got some Italian seasoning for um, the, the meal that I'm making tonight, ketchup. I got 2% milk because this is what you would need for the whipping cream. Um, I was looking for the vanilla uh, syrup, but they didn't have any. And everything was like sugar-free. And I don't like the way sugar-free tastes. So I got butter pecan and I'm going to use that in replace of the vanilla. Maybe I'll find vanilla at a different store, but today we're gonna use butter pecan. I like butter pecan anyways. Um, I got some manwich for Sloppy Joes because I'm gonna make Sloppy Joes this week. 
for dinner uh, with fries. I got hamburger buns that will go with that. This was the main event, y'all. This is what I needed to stop at the store for because I can't do life without coffee. I mean, I can, but I can't if it makes sense. <laughs> so we got some five uh, cheese uh, spaghetti sauce and I got the blend of three peppers. So you got onions, red and green bell peppers. Actually, it seemed like that's four. One, two, three, and four. I don't know why it says three blends. Maybe because it's the red peppers. I don't know, I don't know. I have no idea, but I think that's four. You got red onion, yellow onion, green onion, and then regular onion, yeah, so. Anyways, I got some cookies to go in the jar that I'm gonna put on the counter for Valentine's. And uh, that's it, y'all. That's all I got today from Walmart. Um, I think I'm gonna make my coffee and then I'll show you guys what, oh, I got other stuff from Walmart, but I'm not showing you guys. It's um, some things that I picked up for the baby. And um, it's this right here, I kinda took, took it off. All of that is her stuff, but I took it off, um, took it out, so I don't take her risk of Michaela seeing it. We're planning to have her a small little shower, something really small, even if it's just me and Maya, uh, Fargo, my husband, Michaela will have something where it feels like a baby shower. We will make it fun. It'll be something small. I don't know if I'll cook something or order food, but whatever it is, she'll remember it. <laughs> I cannot, I cannot, I cannot see myself not doing anything for her. This is my first grandbaby, so I gotta do a little something. And then I wanna decorate a little bit, like a little baby shower, just to make, make it feel like it's an actual shower. And we're gonna be playing games. So it'll be fun. Maya and I were thinking about um, actually doing this for her on the 29th of this month. So the last week of this month, um, we'll do like the little baby shower. And I'm gonna call it a baby shower because in my heart, that's what it is. Um, so she has something that she's getting for her and by that time she'll have it. And um, yeah, and then plus with Amari and football and traveling and stuff like that, I think that might be a okay weekend for us cross my fingers if it's not then I may not even go with them um, just because I want to make sure she gets this this situated and done get the things that she needs plus it's getting so close for the baby to be here it's gonna be time for her to wash all of her things sorry guys it's gonna be time for her to wash her things and get everything kind of situated she is moving her and uh, Jerron they have a place together he actually had his own place and Michaela's gonna be moving in with him. So she's been kind of like getting that ready over there and moving things in and all of that good stuff. So yeah. Anyways, y'all, we are getting ready to, um, I wanna say we're gonna make our coffee and our waffles. So let's do that. I got a little frother, but I feel like the batteries that I have in here are new. Cause when I got this thing, I bought batteries for it, but I feel like maybe it's this that's not working. I hope that's not the case. That's the whole purpose of me going to the Dollar Tree today was to get more batteries. So I'm just kind of flipping these over just to see if it'll work. Let me get the other ones. All right, so I got these and these because I wasn't sure what size it was, was gonna take. Amari. Mm. Your foot really hurt? Yes. Why weren't you limping yesterday? I most definitely was. Which 
뭐지? 김치. I don't know if it's gonna work, you guys. I think it's the actual frother that's not working. Yeah. Empty bottles of red wine laying on the floor from last night. We got a little drunk. Yeah. Now I'm a little numb. Mm -hmm. Spending hours by your bedside, talking till it's dark out somehow. Can get you off my mind. Don't want to say good. All right, so our waffle maker is ready because the light is off and it's really hot. And it didn't take no time to actually heat up. But I'm going to spray the pan with some of this. I don't have any Pam. got that in the mail but I want to show you guys what I got from Dollar Tree I grabbed a bunch of the socks I thought they were all super cute so I grabbed about five pair all right so I got this little heart super cute these little socks little kitty kitties on them these are knee highs as well. Then I got that one. They got little hearts on them. Different little faces. These little ones here. And all three of these are knee highs. And I got these. It's a little llama. And... These are super cute. I love the little black and white stripe with the red and the red hearts. And these are low cut. So I got those. And I grabbed this little sign. I'm going to put this in my office. This one as well. And I got these little doilies. Doyles or doilies. I don't know. I think I'm going to hang them kind of like how I hung up the little um, bulbs for Christmas. I'm going to do that in my office like in front of the window like I did I got a pink one and this cute little rainbow I'm gonna put it up in the office as well so I got some fun stuff for Valentine's pretty much for my office to decorate with and um, yeah that's about it but I'm mostly happy about the socks and that's it y'all oh I feel like taking a nap. I think the broken sleep that we had over the weekend is catching up to me. Because, girl, I'm really, really tired right about now. 
So I think what I'm gonna do is sit down for a minute. It's like 11.40, what time? Oh no, it's 12.30, jeez. So it's 12.30, but I need to take a nap. I gotta just, I think I'm gonna sit on the couch, probably turn the TV on for a minute. Probably about 1.30, I'll get up to start making my little um, dinner. And then um, after I get that going, because it'll be cooking in the crock pot, then I'll head over to get Lovey because he has training at 4.30, so. I haven't done nothing I was supposed to do. I did make me some coffee, however, my little frother did not work. And um, I was trying to do my little TikTok, but that ain't working either today. So all of my little things that I was trying to do is just kind of out the window, my whole plan. So I'll have to try another day. It's good though. So I'll get you guys, um, pick you guys back up once I close these eyes for a minute. So I'll see you guys in a minute. lasagna is cooking it was really quick please try this recipe out um, I love the fact that I am it took me about a good 
15 minutes from start to finish um the only thing that i would not recommend um and it might just taste just fine but the pepper blend that i got um that has the yellow and red peppers i don't think that goes with like a lasagna but that was all i had and that's what i used so um that's that so i'm getting ready to take amari oh well first we gotta go pick up lovey and i think um he has training today he's saying that he don't but his dad clearly told me he did so we're getting ready to head out and um take this hike clear across town because guess what maya live in in the boondocks and where he trains is in the boondocks but it's not so bad because our food is cooking y'all so i just made me a cup of coffee to go since i messed up my coffee from this morning it was actually good um hold on y'all iced coffee that I made was actually it was pretty good but now that I'm leaving and it's cold out I really need something kind of warm let's see what it's looking like out here oh it looks like everybody's grass or snow is melted away not just ours anymore oh but it's cold oh but it's cold it's freezing out here yeah, we're at QT and they have the best grilled cheese sandwich. Um, I got the bacon ranch grilled cheese and it's so good. Amari and I sharing it. We actually just came back from, he just had training. And now we're gonna go pick up Love It. We kind of did things opposite of what we were planning on doing today and you guys it is so cold outside it almost feels like it'll snow again not sure if that would be the case but definitely feels that way i do have my dinner on i have dinner on and um it should be done by the time we get back but right now y'all we haven't ate since we had um waffles this morning and i'm pretty hungry so i was thinking about a grilled cheese and man i had to share it with you guys because it is so good still snow outside we still have snow just laying around um I could definitely see how the snow was just sticking over here because it's super, super cold. This car got a bunch of snow on it, like. Mm. Look at this car. You guys, I think I burnt my lasagna. Jeez. I feel like I burnt it y'all I had it on high and I was gone for a couple hours it's not how it's supposed to look I don't think oh man hopefully it's still good I hope it's still good it don't taste that bad, but it sure don't look like the kind that was on the TikTok that I saw. This ain't it. So if y'all make this, make sure you put your um, crock pot on low. Because I feel like um, I had it on too high and I wasn't here to really pay attention to it. Here's babe. What you shaking your head for? You not thankful? For burning food? Yeah, thank you. Thank you for burning the food. Thank you. Dang. Thank you. 
It's, and it's not burnt, it's just kind of like dried out. It's well done. Well done. Well done with that. Mm hmm. Not bad. Y'all see that? Y'all see that, right? Somebody must have loved it because he ain't eating it if it ain't good. Trust me. It was good. It was a little, little dry, though. It wasn't even really dry. It was just kind of burnt around the edges. But it wasn't like how I saw the video on TikTok. Let me show y'all what the video looked like on TikTok. I know I shared it with y'all a couple weeks ago. Or... I haven't even shared that yet. I don't know. But let me show you guys what it's supposed to look like. That ain't it. So this one here is what I was going for. Y'all see that? That's what I was going for, but that's not what I got. But it was still good. I ate it. It was good. And Babe clearly loved it because he ate it all. So I would I would recommend that you try it. But just make sure that you guys pay attention to um, how high your temperature is in the crock pot. She used like some ravioli. I used lasagna. The lasagna noodles. You can use ravioli or lasagna noodles, whichever you want. But, um, yeah, like I said, just pay attention to your, your temperature, watch it, and don't dry it out like I did. Hi, guys. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, guys. Yay to the weekend. I'm so excited about the weekend, you guys. I'm over this week. Over it. And... What I'm doing right now is, hold on, I gotta catch my breath because I ran downstairs to pick y'all up. And then I ran back upstairs because I wanted y'all to see this. My shower, it's like stone and in like the creases, like in the little crevices, there's like mold. And every time I clean it, it comes right back. So I was trying to figure out like, what do we do to stop this? Let me show you guys what it's looking like. So basically the mold grows like in the corners there along here, you know, all, all around the little ends like over there. You probably can't really see it all that well because all the foam and stuff is kind of like covering it up. Ooh, it's making my eyes burn y'all. But yeah, I don't know if y'all could see, but there's a lot of mold that grows kind of like in the, in the crevices. Now this is disgusting. <laughs> Hold on. Mm. My eyes is watering and my nose is starting to run. I don't know if y'all could tell. And I'm, I'm sorry I'm looking a little raggedy today. Well, not a little, but a lot of. But anyways, what I did was I went on YouTube to, of course, look up how to clean that up and how to fix it or whatever. I was even thinking about going to Home Depot or Lowe's and getting like a grout color or something after I clean this and just kind of going over it with grout. How you use grout, I don't know. I just thought of that as an idea. But, um, sorry y'all, I'm out of breath. Um, but what I did see, what I found on YouTube was um, that there was one video I came across and she said to use Clorox toilet bowl cleaning, um, clinging bleach gel. Y'all see that? So she said to use this and um, make sure it's the clinging bleach gel. And I guess it's supposed to cling to like 
the little crevices kind of like sit there and kind of penetrate through everything now we're gonna see if this is gonna work but what she used was a hard brush and i put that stuff down and i don't have a hard brush so now i'm trying to figure out girl what you finna do i don't know what i'm gonna do because i can't run to the store right now because babe and amari just left for practice i have old two brush toothbrushes that i could use which would be my only option at this point or i could just let this sit um for like 24 hours and then come back tomorrow and then scrub it because i do believe she said to let it sit for a while the longer the better so i'm gonna let it just sit and um after i spray uh put the clorox gel down i also went behind it and sprayed with this because um i just felt like the shower just feels so dirty you guys so i'm gonna um let that stuff sit and then maybe tomorrow or i could ask babe if he can stop off at like walmart or something get me like one of those hard bristle brushes so that i can like scrub really good in those little creases to clean the shower pretty good if i had some ammonia i would be pouring that stuff on there when i had daycare what i used to do because the little kids would go to the bathroom and they would you know use the bathroom even if they sat on the toilet it would just run down and it would get in the grout of the floors and sometimes like once a week i would just put some bleach all over the floors i would put bleach all over and then i would take ammonia and i would pour it and then i would close the door and let everybody in my house know what's going on in the bathroom close the door and just let us do his do his thing when that couple hours have gone by and the fumes have settled pretty much the floor would be dry and then i would just go up and mop but that would help kill the smell it's harsh chemicals but i mean that once once urine settles in like grout and stuff like that it's hard to get that out it's hard to get them smells out so pretty much that's what i did um, I know it's bad mixing stuff and that could be why I'm out of breath, but this is just bleach and bleach, but it's pretty strong. Now, if I had some of this, it's hardly nothing in here. I would add that to it as well. Yeah, there's hardly nothing coming out of there. Just a little bit, but yes, I'm going to let this all sit and soak in and I'm going to come back and see if this will help because it's bad y'all, it's bad, so. Anyways, how are y'all this day? I am so happy, today is Friday. Um, we were supposed to go to Miami today because they had another tournament. So the seven on seven team that Amari is playing with, they travel. So they have a lot of out, out of town games and things like that. There's a couple games coming up in Texas. There's one in I think Alabama. We we're supposed to go to Miami today. Last week we went to um, Panama City. And I got to get out of here. Your girl's going to pass out. Ain't nobody going to even know I'm here. Let me get back downstairs. <sighs> that stuff's strong. It's really strong. It's really strong. And it's like in my nose. Hopefully this will help me out. Because since I had COVID, I, I just smell like cigarettes all the time. Like it's really strong in my in my nose like the smell of like cigarettes and stuff like that but anyways um the games are canceled um for this weekend so babe sent me a he sent me a um um what do you call that their schedule and there's several games coming up like march april that we'll be going to kind of traveling but yeah so this weekend i'm gonna take the time out to actually plan Michaela's baby shower is going to be virtual. Last night I ordered um, a little digital invitation that I'm going to send out via email or text message to people. And also um, I got to work on that today. And then I need to set up a Zoom link because like some of our family and, their, and her friends or whatever can join us there. I know it's last minute and I'm not no way intended or t intending for it to be like this 
big traditional baby shower that you know we've been planning and people need to make sure they are there it's not that type of thing it's just something to acknowledge my granddaughter and you know create memories for Michaela and um you know celebrate her pregnancy I felt like she went through a lot this pregnancy but um yes I, I'm looking forward for that and that's going to be for next weekend the 29th so we have a couple things that um, we have to do this weekend like order some balloons and a couple of decorations and things like that and um, I'm praying that everything will come before we need which Amazon is pretty good we're getting stuff here right away and if I can't we can always go to Party City Walmart Target whatever is local to get whatever little decorations we need it's not much but yeah so that's what I'm doing this weekend I need to figure out what else I'm gonna have as far as food and then um games mine's gonna help create some games for us that we can play because we want it to kind of feel like a baby shower so we're gonna be doing that and then uh yeah that's about it go son go you guys it's snowing out here can y'all see it is really snowing it's snowing can y'all see it look at the light you guys see the snow it's snowing out here dang like where is this coming from i wish that could be me she like spoiled like this don't make sense are you serious Girl, that's my husband. <laughs> He's mine. And look at his hand. They both comfortable. Mm -hmm. Look at his feet. Mm-hmm. Oh, brat. So, where we going? What's up? Never, What's up? Not about to go nowhere. Why? Because it's snowing outside. If you want to go to Papa Dolls, you need to come on. Babe, you notice her her hair turning black again? Mm -hmm. She on the back nine. She on the what? Y'all, I've been doing really good. I've been over here editing the second video of the day. I already started off with one, and um, you guys should see that one already. Um, I got off work, and I was back at work okay and i'm doing it for y'all but right now i'm going on a date honey my husband taking me to papa Do's, rain sleet or snow i'm out time to go get dressed honey i haven't been back up here since the films y'all and to be honest with you guys i was smelling this stuff all the way downstairs let's see what it's looking like in here Everything is kind of like dried up. Everything. That actually looked like it cleared up a little bit because that whole little corner right there was a mess. Actually, actually, <laughs> I might want to say it's working or it worked. I don't know. I think I might need to hit this little corner right there a little bit more. But as far as over here and around the little crevices, it looked better, to be honest with you. So I'm wondering if I clean it, like scrub it, will it make a difference? Uh, I gotta put on my little, my shoes to step in in the shower because I don't want to get my socks messed up but I'm gonna put some more of this here and just kind of let it run down I'll see how it's running down I use this whole bottle today it's barely any anything left in here 
But yeah, I'm not gonna take a shower in here. I'm gonna have to go into Mari's room, take a shower really quick, but. But yeah, it looks like it might be working, y'all. We're gonna see. And I think I'm gonna spray some more of this on there just to give it that same effect. results tomorrow. I'm going to have to keep y'all updated on those. I got these new toothbrushes, you guys. Um, I like to change my toothbrush out every so often. And I was at Walmart and I grabbed these the other day. And I really like the fact that they have uh, caps on them. And these are by Reach. Guess that's a brand. Mm. And this is the toothpaste that I like to use. The Crest um, 3D White. This is the toothpaste that I use. Ba Babe uses This is Babe's toothpaste. This is what he liked to use. So I like to, I'll use this. This is good actually, but I like the 3D white for the white. But anyways, you guys, see y'all in a minute. All right, so I am ready. I just put on a sweater and some jeans. <sighs> I gotta put on some perfume my little collection i need to go through it i need to go through this whole collection because some of this stuff is old i have so many bottles um can't even wear it all so they kind of go bad and it's like the color in there is bad the uh, light in there but anyways you guys this is what i'm gonna wear this is that ysl but um I came out here to talk to y'all spray because the light in my closet is no good. So we are ready. I just have to get my jacket and my ring downstairs. Um, I'll show you guys what I have on. So I don't know if y'all can see, but I'm wearing a sweater this actually came from old navy um a couple years ago and i'm just wearing some jeans with some duck boots and these came from um costco probably like last year or something like that i know it's like really bad light in here but basically you guys kind of have an idea of what i am wearing on today so yeah, just gonna go get my jacket and head out. <laughs> I messed you up. No. Let's see where Blue is, y'all. Where is he? It's time for his water to get cleaned out. Hi, Blue. I'm all right. Mm. Yeah, I see him. He's moving. <clears throat> you guys can't see him. He's ready to meet. How you know? They say if he's like blowing bubbles in the corner right here. Uh huh. Oh, is that what that means? Uh huh. Can y'all see him? Oh, hi, Blue. Say hi, friends. Say hello. He's waving. Hi. He's saying hi, you guys. Blue is saying hi. So Amari said that he read that if they start making bubbles like that, that it means that they're ready to mate. Ain't gonna happen. Ain't happening, baby. The only person mating up in here is me. No. <laughs> um, we'll be back. All right. All right. Mommy. Boy. <laughs>
Cause that is what my heart Happy Saturday Happy Saturday y'all so I'm about to get in this shower And try to clean it This morning babe Brought one of these So that I can you know scrub It's a, it's a pretty um, Stiff brush By Lipman And also uh, He even went all out I got me one of these, not no scrubber, but, um, and this is also by Livman too, so I'm getting ready to start the scrubbing process of this shower. Um, do y'all remember last night when I put some of that stuff there? You see how nice and clean it looks now? It looks better. So, I think it was this one. I want to say it was this one or was it that one? I'm not sure, but to me it looks better. But anyways, y'all, we're going to see what it do. I'm going to wet the shower and then just scrub the stuff away. So we're going to go ahead and start. We're going to cross our fingers and hope that everything just kind of works out. Like a cargo, you will carry me I just hope you know my depth Even though it makes no sense So as I'm broken Too much of emotions So as I'm the lighting Don't wanna pick a fight with and let it soak for a while. It's pretty disgusting, you guys. Very disgusting. I feel like I need gloves on for all of this. Showers are gross. You really have to stay on top of them. All right guys, so there we have it. The shower is nice and clean now. There's the glass. Um, and this is what the shower is looking like on the inside. It's, it's like fresh now, it's more clean. I feel like the mold is pretty much gone all around these little areas here. But um, even up in there, it was bad. That I can't get up and I tried my best. But even that looks so, so much nicer than what it did before. So yes, you guys, I'm really happy about how everything turned out. So let me show you guys all of the products that I used today. So these are all of my products. I used um, the Clorox. Clinging gel, this is key when you're cleaning out the mold. And this is too, because I just use those in combination with each other. This Dawn Power Wash, I use for the glass. It works wonders. And then this right here, I kind of like wiped up some of the stuff around like that um, nasty plastic piece, that guard that kind of keeps the water inside. And then I just poured some of this in there and scrubbed the floor with the Fabuloso so it can kind of smell clean, give it that nice, clean, fresh scent. And y'all, that's a new shower. I'm so happy. 
Um, I'm really tired now. I don't even want to clean up the rest of the bathroom. But I started cleaning off my um, side of the sink because I had all of my little products just kind of everywhere. I cleaned the toilet room already. And um, babe's side, I got to clean his side, the mirror, and move stuff around. And we got towels and stuff on the floor. Them is dirty clothes. And yes, so, so happy that that's done. I'm about to start me a little business, a shower cleaning service. I'm not gonna be the one doing it, but I'm, it's gonna be my business. And my goal, my plan is to um, hire people to go to homes and clean showers. We only clean showers only, it's a service. We clean the showers only. I'll talk to you guys in a minute, my sister's call. Time zoom but yeah we're gonna do like a little virtual oh this is the the back this is like a little a little extra thing that we're gonna have but actually before i send it out to everybody i'm gonna ask people to probably put it in this area to um that there's gonna be a diaper raffle so people can purchase diapers for her and um we can raffle them off um, pull names or whatever to have someone win however it worked and Maya is um, actually out today she got Michaela um, she got Michaela her crib because that's something Michaela already knows she bought so I'll tell you guys that she did buy her crib and a couple of other things she got her today and then today she's also out buying games for the baby show.